Welcome back to EAA Air Venture 2025, Rex Alexander for Aero News Network here in the Airbus booth with Paul Smith. Paul is the flight operations and director for A Cubed. So, Paul, tell me a little bit about who A Cubed is, what their mission and goals are. So, A Cubed is an innovation uh, technology center for Airbus located in Silicon Valley. And our, our main job is to bring technology innovation in the software world from machine learning, artificial intelligence into the Airbus ecosystem. So in the work that you've been doing over the last couple of years, we saw that you were working in the Beach Baron and you upgraded. Now you're doing work in what we have behind us, which is the King Air. Tell me what the test bed is and what you're trying to accomplish with it. So we uh, upgraded from the Baron to the King Air because it's larger cabin, allows us to have more capability inside, and also gives us a tail camera uh, ability to position the cameras where we would position them on an Airbus 320 on the belly. What we're trying to do is develop enough data to build a machine learning and uh, artificial intelligent landing system using just a camera and a computer on the aircraft. So totally autonomous in the sense that we don't rely on the airport infrastructure, and it gives us the capability to fuse with ILS, GPS, and also other landing systems to make sure that the pilot has a very accurate approach. Mm -hmm. And so when we look in the future where we're going to have a lot more air travel and the same number of airfields, a more crowded airspace, we're looking to really decrease an airplane having to go missed approach mm -hmm. or go around because of something on the runway. So one of the other things we're looking at is collecting all the imagery we need to identify objects on the ground for obstructions on the runway. And then also one of the most dangerous parts for an airline captain is to get from the runway to the jetway and back. And so clearing all the obstacles, uh, when we have a, a ground impact with another airplane, it shuts down that aircraft, other aircraft, the whole system. So we're just trying to cre increase efficiency, improve safety, and reduce pilot workload. So I see that on the nose, we have a camera suite. How many cameras on the nose? We have the capability for four. Right now we have two cameras on the nose and two pointed off to the side. And that gives us a full 270 degree field of view and it's replicated in the tail as well. And what that allows us to do is also capture any kind of obstruction on the runway. We can use that to build our system. And my understanding is the cameras on the tail actually replicate the belly of most of the larger aircraft as far as a reference point. Exactly. So these cameras are mounted lower, mounted lower to the ground. They're good for takeoff and landing. But when you're taxiing around, you really need that aspect of a higher elevation to see a difference in the threshold lines and obstacles that you might run into. How many airports have you guys been to so far and actually done evaluations, and how's that worked out? So we've covered more than 120 airfields across the U.S., from San Diego to Portland, Maine, and from Miami to Seattle, all the class Bravos. And uh, we do it in day, night, and dusk conditions. So we're trying to capture all of that. We're looking at degraded weather as well because that has a certain effect when you're trying to land on the runway. If we're really trying to build uh, autonomy into our system, which will reduce the workload on pilots. So if you think about currently, we have two pilots operating a bunch of federated systems in the cockpit. If we can integrate all that and bring it together in an intelligent matter, and I call it intelligent automation. So we'll still have pilots flying the aircraft, but they'll be able to do it in a lot safer and, and better manner. When we look at the future and the number of pilots that are retiring, the age, aging out, mm -hmm. we're getting younger and younger pilots in the cockpit. So we want to reduce the amount of individual workload in individual systems and bring them up above where they can man monitor the whole aircraft in a, in, a more, in a better way. So basically allowing for higher heightened awareness in the cockpit for better decision making. Exactly. So pilots are looking at perception, judgment, and knowledge. So we can provide a lot of knowledge through artificial intelligence. We can provide a lot of perception, which these cameras do. But it's really the judgment of the pilot that we're looking at. And if we can improve those two things, then we're going to vastly improve the judgment capability of pilots when they operate aircraft, making it safer for the general public. Mm -hmm.